Alright, my name is Mr. McGillicuddy, welcome back once again to my channel. Today we will be returning to Final Fantasy 16. So in our last episode we saw the conclusion of what happened to Clive in his childhood. Leading up to the events where they were attacked by, by the Empire. Of course during those events, their father, his and his brother's uh, father got slain. That's when uh, Joshua became the Phoenix. He went out of control and then Clive became another icon of fire as we know him as Ilfred and in the end Ilfred killed uh, Joshua so now we know why why Clive is who he is now basically betrayed by their own mother which will be again sorry my dad was talking to my brother oh uh, yeah which of a woman so now we're pretty much bre uh, a bearers which is pretty much just slaves so we're gonna have to hunt down uh, Shiva now, but Titan is not making that easy. So let's get into it, shall we? Oh yeah, before I forget, um, head back to the equipment screen. Got map, journal, items. Here we are. So yeah, this is gonna be a big boost to us. And um, okay, shoot, okay, Sith. We have more guild. This is pretty, pretty much the same saber that is used by the Warrior of Light in Final Fantasy 1. I need to finish the game off. I don't think there was ever a sprint uh, option here. All the old trails are gone. There'll be hell finding a way out. Do you think a retreating army and their dominant will fare any better? That's a lot of ice. You can hear the cracking, can't you? Jesus. Flames. Titan did this? I know Shiva did half that damage. But man. That guy knows how to swing his arms around. Oh god. More bloodshed. And yeah, the guy who was uh, Titan's dominant didn't give a damn about his crushing his own men. Did you hear that? He walked down there. So, Titan has knocked the fight out of our iron blood friends. Where are the rest of them? That can't be the main host. Wait. King Pat! Bitra! Our fortunes have turned, Sergeant. It's her. The dominant. Are you certain? The crystalline orthodox is a backwards faith for a backwards people. In the Iron Kingdom, they teach that dominance are unclean aberrations, born of blackest sin. Only their priests are allowed to perform the rites of priming. And I see many. We end this quickly. Shrinkscott! Adion in here, Sagarit! Strike! Absolute monsters. Jada! Lost the island! <coughs> Fight Alvation now, King. Alad Scully. Really are barbarians. Let this be the end. Avis, care to kill some iron blood? Gladly. White, you focus on the target. Understood. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Ay. Got any way that moves. Ay. Get at the wrong time. Make any less dangerous. I will not have their blood on my hands. I am doing poorly here. Here, material, and as she fought, she tears of ice were shattered on the bloodstained earth below. So this is using crafting. Hmm. for More of them. We've got company, Wyvern. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? Lord Ohilda Vegra! Get your ass over here and help me with these bastards! They would meet again on the field of battle like this as enemies. Jesus. What is wrong with you, Wyvern? Dominant. I know her. Know her? Look around you! Do you think any of these animals care? I need you here! Ah. Now 
now that that's done. I won't ask you again, Wyvern. Take her head so we can be done with this. I... I can't. I won't. You would betray the Holy Empire? Betray? I don't recall ever pledging allegiance to your Emperor. My service may have been bought with this brand, but not my loyalty. I just fight to survive. And you think I don't? The Empire will have our heads if we return empty hands. So if you won't take hers, I'll have to take yours. I told you, Sergeant. I'm not dying here today. And neither is she. Let's find out. Don't bear the same brand, Sergeant. I've always had a name, and I've not forgotten it. Still clinging to the past like a torn blanket. Then you will die, as you should have 13 years ago. My man! Tiamat. I guess that's the name he gave himself. Level 11. Not good. Lightning. Jeez. Box of flying. Dog. I wonder. Most likely, but still.
Hugo dear, my proud desert lion. Would that you had taken care when chasing the hare? I expected more from the mighty Titan. You put the Ice Queen on her back, no doubt. But you'll have to work harder if you're to claim this prize. My lady, the thunder. We'll be hearing more soon enough. You always were a fucking snake, Sid. Sounds like Gather she... the men. We have work to do. Sounds like she knows that, man. Then another question, or rather to something else, she's probably using her charms to pretty much lead the guy who's tied his dominus around to her whims. Jill, is it really you? And who's this fine hound I see before me? A fine hound who saved your life, that's who. Torgal. Aye. His name is Torgal. You two acquainted? Well then, you won't mind taking him off my hands. Funny. I'd always pictured you as more of the chocobo type. Clive Rosfield. Okay. Come now. Fleet as flame, fierce as a wildfire. That there was the blessing of the Phoenix. I'd heard rumors that you'd survived, but I never paid them much heed. <laughs> Calm down. I didn't come all this way for your handsome mug. Now her, on the other hand, she seemed worth muddying my boots for. For where. Still, might be best to get a second opinion. Back her up. No. Not another step. <laughs> I mean it. Well, I'm not about to leave her here. Not one with a warm bed waiting. It's all right. Jeez. You're welcome to join us. You do want to help her, don't you? Uh, 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 Sid, if we aren't back soon, none will have our heads. <laughs> I'll explain everything once we're back at the hideaway. Come on. You know, of all the fantasy game without a Sid in it. A uh, Sid in it. To the hideaway, then. The withered remnants of a once verdant valley is long custom, sorry, long consumed by the blight. One would have to be either extremely foolish or extremely desperate, or an extremely desperate fool to make this wasteland their home. Yeah, by the sounds of this blind, I would think so. Central storm. So in the middle of the continent. Okay, the Deadlands. Not much further now. 
But well, we're in the middle of the Deadlands. Keen eye, you. The blight suck this place dry. Meaning no trees, no birds, and no magic. But it also means no neighbors. The last place anyone would think to look. Exactly. And again, you had to be an extremely desperate fool to be here. Still, what is causing the blight anyway? Home sweet home. Doesn't look like much of a home. But, I suppose it is home nonetheless. survive without magic how does anyone hard work and a bit of else you must be starving we grow them here believe it or not hmm? suit yourself you're back ah sorry and this is the dominant how cold since we found her i was hoping you might give her a look over all right Goots, get her upstairs. Well, none will... Don't fret about Karen. I've taken care of her fee. All of it. She's the best healer this side of the belt. You have nothing to worry about. Hmm. Go on. Have a look around. I'll be in my solar. Solar? What's that? Hmm. And then look at that girl, woman's face. I think she had a brand herself, but it hadn't cut off. Local map. Pressing the touchpad opens a detailed map of your current area. Main scenario destinations are marked with the feather icon. Okay, one tray, storeroom, cells, faucets, reservoir, furrows, the banks, infirmary, sit solar. Ale hall and the fat choker boy. <laughs> Alrighty. Bit of info here. And what's the fallen? An ancient yet highly advanced civilization whose relics can be found across the land and beneath of Mestilith. The material from which these relics are constructed. Structed is far sturdier than steel and cannot be worked by modern methods So the people of the modern day have been elected to build inside and around them instead Seems fair Bound waste bereft be be of ether where no life stirs and magic is all but unstable Here both earth and water are stained black preventing any seeds from quickening in recent years, the blight has spread even more widely, displacing whole nations before it, driving once peaceful fauna to violent desperation and leaving silent devastation in its wake. Residence, Resident Psychica, which is pretty much like a healer, of Sid's Hideaway. Taja is, a, is an extreme expert in all manners of medicines and medical innovations skills that are indispensable in the deadland home where they cannot call on healing magic after Sid brings an unconscious deal back to the heart away from his expedition to the Nasha Defar she is placed into Tasha's care <sighs> a refuge hidden in the blighted lands of Central Storm, from which Sid operates his secretive community of free bearers. Freed bearers, sorry. While survival in the Deadland is widely 
considered impossible, a combination of near indestructible foreign ruins and considerable ingenuity have led the led to the establishment of a safe haven where those who rally to their leaders' calls are only just about but able to irk out an ample and meager existence. <sighs> Cornered by a battalion of Iron Kingdom Crusaders in the depths of the Nushar Defile, Clive thought his end was nigh until Sid appeared and spirited him and Jill away to a secret hideaway in the Deadlands. I shall have a good look around. Check the wine. I'm going to say, okay then. I'm another newcomer. Do you mind the rules round here? Or our next chat will be through the bars. I'll keep that in mind. Excuse me. I guess this is where they take their bars. The washroom floor's all mended then. It'll hold for now. I suppose I'll be needing a new sword. Then you'll need to speak with Blackthorn. Okay, this platform must be a smith. Reservoir must be where they have their clean water. Went as a surprise. Sid once told me the blight doesn't kill the land; it only makes her forget who she once was. She'll eventually remember her purpose. All she needs is a little reminding. <laughs> That's a bit of opti optimistic way of looking at it, and from the look of things, they're not wrong. Brand. Lady Tyre might be able to see to that. You may have been born a slave, but you're a free man now. I wasn't exactly born one, but we became one after some mysterious and unfortunate events. Leave me be. Not until you've had your medicine. These apples are all So they had a lot of weapons built here. You reckon he's a soldier then? I'd be surprised if he wasn't. The smell of war is thick about. Yeah, you're not wrong there. Thirty years for forcefully fighting for the Empire. Yeah. If you can read, don't let Otto know. We'll put you to work on the ledgers too. <laughs> Most concerning. I think I was a look around here. No man's tool. And you. I think he'd have time for a nip with old August before scampering back to his solar, but no. Is this a. Yeah, I think this is a music player. I see something similar in Final Fantasy XIV. Spend the old morning on these steps. Sorry. Just working on a pet project of mine. Though she's not above biting the hand that feeds her. I was hoping we might try and solve the mystery of poor Clive Rossfield, a bearer of the San Imperial Army sent behind enemy lines, with orders to wait until it turned into a brawl, then slit the Dominant's throat in the chaos. I didn't know it was her. How could it be? And so, to save her neck, you slit your sergeants. 
then set your sights on the hills. Conveniently forgetting how the Empire deals with deserters. Because with that on your chop, my friend, we both know you won't be getting far. Hmm. You've fallen a long way, Lord Rossfield. Well, what do you expect when his mother, own mother betrayed him? A lot of it said that I'm a poor host. What do you mean to do with her? Who with her? Why nothing? Her life is her own now. If I wanted to use her, do you think I'd be talking to you? All I want to do is help. Dominance like her, branded like you. Of course, the realm doesn't approve, which is why we live in a cave. And it's also why we need help from branded who know one end of a sword from the other. What say you, Clive? Will you join us? Sid, was it? I trust that you'll do right by Jill. But until my brother is avenged, I must walk my own path. Avenged. My brother was murdered by a second dominant of fire. Phoenix is evil swing. Oh, bugger me. Another rumor proven true. I only stand here today because of Joshua. Thirteen years I've waited for this chance. I've slept in filth, drunk from a gutter, killed more men than I can count. You're right. The Empire will not suffer a deserter. This will be my best opportunity. My last. Which is why you should join us. I told you I'm not interested, I know. One of my scouts sent word there's a group of branded fugitives north of here, in the Imperial village of Lost Wing. Among them is one he believes to be a dominance of fire. Is he certain? What say we go and ask him? This doesn't mean I'm joining you. <laughs> of course. Just helping to get his own things. That's my ready then. I don't think you'll find un everything you need down in the main hall, as well as a few things you don't. Have fun. I don't think he realizes that the other dominant of fire was him. But then again, I don't think he was in control. I think. I think he was looking through the eyes of uh, that little pup. Way back when. Like somehow his soul got separated and put into the pup's body. It's just a thought of mine, I don't know. He's in Oh no. Go towards it. Perhaps you can help. Sid asked me to make ready for our mission. How does one go about that here? Uh, well, uh, there's old Nan's place. Uh, on second thoughts, uh, you maybe want to see Blackthorn first. A blacksmith? To the forge it is then. To the forge it is then. Oh wait, no, hold up. You'll be needing this. Blackthorn won't take no notice of you otherwise. Might not anyway. <laughs> Thanks. Rum, huh? Sounds like a certain set of blacksmith, but no. 
this when we're done. <laughs> Are you Blackthorn? What if I am? I'm no time for idle chatter. I'm not here to talk. I'll be accompanying Sitter Lostwing and I need you to see to my equipment. You could be accompanying the goddess Grieger to a holy bedchamber for all I care. I'm not lifting a finger for you. Is that so? Do you want that or not? I can take it back. Oh, damn you, goots. All right, all right. No need to be hasty. Let's have a look at you. <laughs> I doubt that lot could stay a Moogle's fart. Bloody Imperials. They'd rather see their bearers dead than kid it out properly. I'll do what I can. As a favor to Goot's mind. Okay. So forging. The craft the crafting of new gear as well as the upgrading of existing gear can be done at a blacksmith as long as you have the recipe and the proper materials. Select a highlighted item from the list and hold X to craft for upgrade. So we'll be making an iron belt. And the belt sees a square. You want anything else? You bring your own materials. I'll bear that in mind. Thank you. A uh, uh, word of advice. Don't let Sid decide what's best for you. Oh. When something has changed in the hideaway, a notice will appear in the upper right hand corner of the screen. In addition to stocks update at uh, Karen's Toll, a uh, new forging recipe for the Black Hammer. <sighs> there are also notices for new quests, new misses, and many other things. The that icon, sorry, an icon will appear in game as well on the local map to indicate recent updates. I suppose I should thank Goots. Mm-hmm. I see, I'm busy here. What do you want? Let's have a look. Okay, so I need about three more live right before I can upgrade the broadsword there. Wait, no, that's crafting there. Oh, I don't have a broadsword. I thought I had one. That's on. Okay, but what was that weapon I had? Ah, it's just the Imperial Infantry Sword. Never mind then. I think I'm going to equip this back because I don't want to make things too easy for me. Thanks. I, uh, uh, <laughs> Come on, nearly there. Seems like a soft spoken giant. You, blankets, quick as you like. Comfortable while a bed's made up. <laughs> well, you're just gonna stand there. Someone face some water. I'll get the bucket. You go and see if Otto needs out, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, me? Yep, yeah. What the hell am 
have I got myself into? Who are they? Huh? They're freed Imperial bearers. Who the hell are you? <laughs> Shit, at this rate, you won't make it through the night. Think you can find your way up them stairs to the infirmary? We need Taya. Well, go on. Shift your ass. Okay. Was Taya the one looking after Jill? Yeah. Probably check on her as well. Your friend needs her rest. There'll be time for tearful reunions when she's recovered. I'm not here for Jill. You're wanted downstairs. There are injured bearers in need of attention. Well, why didn't you say so? I did say so. Yeesh. He's going to be all right, but I'll need to examine them both in the infirmary. My work's just begun. Uh, shut up, computer. Sounds like it's going to be a long night for her. Another fine day at the hideaway. Do many of the bearers who come here arrive in this state? It's no easy thing, casting off your chains. By the time most pluck up the courage, they're already too far gone. These two here are the lucky ones. The name's Otto. You need anything? You ask me. Well, Otto, I do need some supplies. Do you now? Then Lady Karen over there will be more than happy to help you. Right. Oh, and thanks. Be seeing you. Not likely. I won't be staying. Is that right? Well, for as long as you are here, consider yourself welcome. You helped us today, and we won't forget it. It's not quest unlocked. Keep an eye out for a green icon above the heads of certain NPCs. These indicate they have a quest to offer. A list of current and completed quests can be viewed from on the journal tab on the main menus. After completing accepted quest, quest objectives will appear in the to-do list located on the right side of the screen. Objectives for the main scenario and the up to three side quests can be displayed simultaneously. Any quest can be prioritized on the journal tab in the main menu by highlighting it and press X. Objectives for a prioritized quest will remain displayed in the to-do list until the quest is complete or another quest is given priority. Priority status for a quest can be removed by highlighting it and pressing X again. <clears throat> the following hardware facilities are also available. Thousand Times, an overgrown companion, all things in Vestilia. Sorry, a personal jukebox for songs collected throughout the game. Both are located in the higher eatery, the Fat Chocobo, and can be found on the local map by pressing the tap. Who are these people? So the people trying to get by. Alright, so a new side quest here and down here too. But that's gonna have to be it for today's episode, people. <sighs> I really do wish I could record longer videos, but until I can get that computer, now it's going to have to be on hold. Anyway, this game is starting to get really good. We really want to get more into the story, but that's going to have to wait. Anyway, that's going to do it for me. Thank you all so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video, please remember to hit that like button. Also, if you haven't already, 
hit that subscribe button and show your support for the channel. I would very much appreciate that. And with that said, I better get off. I've got stuff to do. Thank you all again. And I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful day. Take care of yourselves and drive safely out there, people. Bye-bye. Take care and have a good time.